I'm Tom Anderson, and this is part two of my simulation series, AC Simulation in LT Spice. And now it's ready to simulate. The way you trigger a simulation is to click the little running man. So I'm going to click Run, and it gives me the, the parameters for my simulation because I haven't told it what frequency range I want to sweep over. Now it comes up with the transient analysis as the default. And so in the case of time domain simulation, you say how long you want the simulation to run. But in the case of AC, you tell it the number of points and the start and stop frequency. And I like decades, so I'm going to say 41 points per decade from uh, 10 hertz to 100 kilohertz. And I'm going to OK that. And there's the little analysis command right here. Uh, and it's already run, the simulation. It happened quite quickly. I can graph my voltage output now by clicking over on the wire. And there's my voltage output. So this is amplitude in the solid line and phase in the green line. And so I've been clever and made 1 over 2 pi RC is 100 hertz. So that's why I chose 1.59 microfarads there, because if you multiply this by 2 pi, you get 10 micro, and then multiply 10 micro by 1k, and you get 10 milli, and 1 over 10 milli is 100. This should be the 3 dB point right at 100 hertz, uh, and it is. In fact, we can turn on a marker, which is sort of interesting. When you, when you click the, the schematic here, you get one set of uh, menus up here. And when you click on the graph, you get a different set up here of um, things that you can do with the traces, like change the colors and that sort of thing, uh, or make the lines heavier. Uh, the other thing I can do is turn on a marker. So if I click on the V out here, I get a cursor. They call the marker a cursor. And it's starting off here at about a kilohertz but I can move it by dragging it over here, and I drag it to about 100 hertz, and um, I can see that I'm at my 3 dB point and 45 degrees of phase shift, which is exactly what I expect for a, an RC filter. And if I go to 10 times that frequency, I should be about 20 dB down, and I am right around 85 degrees. I'm right around there, uh, so, or 84 degrees, so that that's all working as we expect. Um, now, what I can do is try a transient simulation uh, and compare the results. 